Hello, this is Sam from Sound of Joy Music Services. This is a direct response to uh, Man of Christ. Uh, regarding the song, there's a bright side somewhere in the key of G. Now, I've watched the video uh, that was created for me to, to review. So this is a response to that video. Now, in that video, I made a question about uh, playing the song Melody Only. I saw in your video you did do a scale. Now I could have fought you over there, fought you on that, on how you played that scale, where you basically use whatever was comfortable to do the scale. As you see, which is what I stress, if you play the scale correctly, your hands don't have to come up from the keyboard. As you see, my hands are not coming up and down, they're just following. the notes that are in front of me, and again, using all my fingers. So I, I requested that to see you play just the melody of the song, because that lets me know, does your ear pick up the scale? Very basic. Just basic. Basically, wrist stayed in one place, my fingers did all the playing. I don't have the sheet music in front of me as you did, so I'm not, um, I think I used the word hindered in, in my response on YouTube, that when you have the music sheet music in front of you, you feel yourself obligated to play the exact notes that you see. That's good for learning a song, but when you're looking to gospelize a song, you want to go a little bit outside of where the notes are going. Now, I also requested that I see you play as you were doing the chords in three-part harmony. So when you're playing three-part harmony, um, you have to almost think as though you were a choir. Soprano up high, melody, an alto voice, a tenor voice. I know you were doing those, I'll call them transitional runs. That's good. Uh, as an add-on, once you're comfortable doing the melody or what I like to say, the, the, the song in chords and choir voicing. And you put that E minor, which goes either to that D chord a D7 to sort of fill it out. That seventh note. And even still, you see my hands are not coming up off the keys because I know where the notes are going. Now, when you add the bass on to it, you try to set a pattern, which is I'll call it traditional. Nothing wrong with that, but the idea now is you want to be able to smooth that out. And once you've become comfortable with what you're doing on the right hand, you can now become a little smoother with bass on your left hand. See, I do those, you want to say, more modern turnarounds. And all that is is that this is this, this chord spread. No trill.
that is just playing around with the chord that you're given and the notes that are associated with that chord. Um, the other part of it, the chorus part, which, which was okay. Again, yeah, standing with the bass. Again, my hands are staying, you want to say, at home on these notes so that I can be free. Not. Every time you lift your hand, you basically now have to bring it all down hard. Where if you just let your fingers do, as they say on the yellow pages, let your fingers do your walking. exercise where I practice chromatic scales. This allows me to have free movement. Okay, that should help. Uh, go through what I've asked that you do. Show me the melody. Show me the three parts. Um, smooth out your bass. Don't have it so jumpy. No. Yeah, you can throw whatever you want in there. of, again, the notes that are with you, and you can throw chords in there. Your um, C minor 6.